Welcome to Wind Air Video. We're above Windsor and the Detroit River. We fly into the story that's been a decade in the making. It's mid-December 2025. Clear skies and late morning sunlight bounce shadows off the icy water along the Detroit River shorelines. However, high above the water stands something that's anything but quiet. The Gordie Howe International Bridge towering and complete in all but paperwork. Nearly 99% finished. The final details are being wrapped up as both nations prepare for the official opening date sometime in early 2026, a day that will mark one of the largest binational infrastructure openings in modern history. The bridge's total cost, after currency conversions, delays, and inflation adjustments, now hovers around six to seven billion Canadian dollars, or roughly 4.4 billion plus USD. That money doesn't just cover the span itself. It includes the massive new border plazas, connecting highways, and intelligent traffic systems designed to modernize cross-border trade for the next 100 years. It's a kind of investment that tends to divide opinions. Some see it as visionary, others as expensive. But standing in its shadow, it's hard not to feel a little impressed by the scale of what two democracies can pull off when they agree on something. Crews are finishing the last of the electrical testing this December. Bridge lighting, toll software calibration, and winter safety rehearsals. The cross-border security systems are being integrated between CBSA and the U.S. Customs, testing everything from license plate readers to biometric gates. Come spring, ceremonial processions, speeches, and plenty of patriotic pageantry will christen the structure. Expect national leaders, provincial and state officials, and maybe a surprise or two. Though given recent political climates, that might depend on how well everyone is getting along that week. Politics aside, there's no denying the anticipation. For Windsor and Detroit, this bridge isn't just an opening, it's a reset. Of course, everyone's wondering, what's the damage at the toll booth? As of now, planners estimate a base passenger vehicle toll of around $9 Canadian per crossing, about 6.75 USD, priced competitively with the Ambassador Bridge's current rate. Commercial trucks will pay more, with estimates ranging from $25 to $35 per crossing, depending on axle count and transponder programs. Frequent travelers will have electronic pass options through both national toll agencies, allowing for seamless digital payments much like the 407 or EasyPass systems. In short, no fumbling for coins in the cold. When the bridge opens, it's expected to handle about 10,000 vehicles per day with 30 to 35 percent of that being commercial freight in its first year. By 2030, planners expect volume to rise to 15,000 to 18,000 daily crossings, roughly one-third of all truck traffic in the Windsor-Detroit corridor. That's a big bite out of a region that already sees about a quarter of all goods traded between Canada and the USA. For logistic companies, this means fewer bottlenecks, faster custom clearance, and backup routes when weather or incidents disrupt the Ambassador Bridge. 
for everyday travelers, a second modern option that doesn't feel like a waiting game every time trucks back up down Huron Line in Windsor. Now what about the Ambassador Bridge? Windsor's aging workhorse since 1929. It's still privately owned and for decades it's been the crossing but once the Gordie Howe opens it's expected that commercial traffic will shift heavily east since the new bridge connects directly to Highway 401 and I-75 with no city streets or stoplights in between. Traffic on the Ambassador could drop by 40 to 50 percent, leaving it more orientated towards local and passenger use. Some see that as long overdue relief for West Windsor's congestion. Others particularly those tied to the Ambassador's business, see it as unwelcome competition. Either way, the old bridge will remain. Its operators are likely to focus on price incentives or maybe lower tolls to retain loyal drivers. The rivalry between old and new crossings might be just become Windsor's version of Coca-Cola versus Pepsi. It'll be interesting to watch. Across Windsor and Southern Ontario, the feeling is pride mixed with practicality. Canadians view the Gordie Howe Bridge as a national statement, not just an infrastructure project, but proof that Canada can lead bi-national partnerships with long-term payoff. The job creation alone has been massive over the past five years. Thousands of local workers, apprentices, welders, and engineers have been employed on site. There are also quiet sighs of relief. For years, Windsor residents pushed for alternate routes to divert truck traffic away from city neighborhoods. The Gordie Howe Bridge and its 401 extensions answers that decades-old complaint. Still, a few skeptics in Canada look warily at the cost. Windsor taxpayers haven't forgotten who footed the bill on both sides of the river, even if the benefit is shared. Yet most simply look across the river at those twin towers and feel a sense of accomplishment something rare in today's political climate. On the Detroit side, the sediment's a bit more mixed, almost philosophical. Americans see progress here, but they also see federal spending fatigue. Detroit has been through its renaissance phase long enough to crave results over ribbon cuttings. Some locals worry traffic patterns might bypass the city's businesses if commercial loads funnel straight onto the interstate. Yet for truckers, logistic firms, and the auto industry, it's a blessing. Michigan's economy ties deeply to cross-border trade. The new span means fewer bottlenecks, less wait time, and less paperwork, thanks to state-of-the-art integrated customs and pre-clearance systems. And although public attention tends to swing back to politics, the Gordie Howe Bridge stands as one of those American-Canadian endeavors that proves that nations can cooperate even when their governments rarely sink in tone. Ask 10 Americans what this bridge means and you'll get 10 answers. From more traffic convenience to finally an update. Either way, you deny that it's impressive. Aerial footage tells the deeper story. The Twin Towers, rising 220 meters above the river, stand like bookends between two nations that don't always see things the same way, but still meet in the middle. The stay cables casting long blue shadows on winter mornings ripple lightly in the cold air. And at the midpoint, between those twin flags, we see a subtle truth. Both sides have weathered storms, 
economic, political, even social, but the connection remains firm. The bridge's very name, Gordy Howe, feels fitting, sturdy, straightforward, Canadian-born yet beloved by both sides of the border. It reflects the shared blue-collar roots of Windsor and Detroit better than any committee name ever could. So what happens next? By the end of its first year, the Gordy Howe Bridge will have fully integrated AI-based traffic systems that monitor flow, weather conditions, and congestion in real time, designed to adjust signals and lane assignments automatically. Long term, the goal to create a smart trade corridor linking Ontario's manufacturing core directly into the American Midwest Logistics Network. Think connected vehicles, autonomous freight testing, and renewable energy powered plazas. No one can promise smooth sailing forever. There will be hiccups from toll pricing debates to shifts in trade policy as governments change hands. But when you look at it from above, from the drone's quiet hover over the Detroit River, it's easy to see the bridge for what it really is. A commitment, frozen in steel, between neighbors who argue loudly but trade quietly. Soon, Thousands of Canadians and Americans will cross here daily. Workers, families, truckers and tourists. Some won't even notice the symbolism, but history will. As the sun sets across the river this December, its orange light spills across the brand new deck. The flags still flutter at center span. Two maple leaves fresh and bright. The stars and stripes stand attention alongside, although one is missing, maybe from an unforgiving windstorm. Its image is almost poetic. Two nations side by side, both flying proud, both standing strong. When the ribbons cut on opening day, it won't just mark a new bridge, it'll mark a new chapter. A project built by workers, funded by taxpayers, argued over by politicians, and now owned by everyone who believes that connection beats division every time. I'm interested in your opinion. What does the Gordie Howe Bridge mean to you? A symbol? A shortcut? Or a shared victory between two nations that still find common ground in an ever-increasingly complicated world. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hype, and comment below. This is Bob Jones, and I will see you in the next video.